Have you ever wondered what the difference between a sensor and a transducer is? We live in a world where technology is woven into the fabric of our daily lives. It's in our homes, our offices, our cars, and even our pockets. And at the heart of this technological revolution are two little-known heroes, sensors and transducers. These devices are the unsung heroes of the tech world, silently working behind the scenes to make our lives easier and more efficient. Just think about it. When your smartphone screen rotates as you turn your device, or when your thermostat adjusts the temperature in your home based on the weather outside, it's all thanks to sensors and transducers. But what exactly are they? How do they work? And what's the difference between them? These are not just questions for the curious minds. They are crucial for engineers and anyone who's interested in the inner workings of technology. Stay tuned as we delve into these fascinating devices and their differences. So, what exactly is a transducer? Well, let's delve into the fascinating world of transducers. In its simplest terms, a transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another. It's a bit like a translator, but instead of converting languages, it's converting energy. You see, energy can take many forms, such as mechanical, electrical, thermal, or even acoustic. A transducer's task is to take energy in one form and convert it into another. This conversion process is known as transduction. Let's consider an example to make this clearer. Imagine a loudspeaker. It's a common device that we all use daily, but did you know that it's a type of transducer? Yes, indeed. The loudspeaker takes electrical signals, that's the input, and converts them into sound waves. That's the output. In this case, the transducer, our loudspeaker, is converting electrical energy into acoustic energy. Or consider the humble thermostat in your house. It's a transducer too. It converts the thermal energy, that's the temperature of your room, into mechanical energy to control your heating system. But transducers aren't just about converting energy. They're about measuring and controlling it too. For instance, a pressure transducer converts pressure into an electrical signal. This signal can then be measured and used to control a system like the pressure in a water pipe or the air pressure in a car tire. So, whether it's transforming the strumming of a guitar string into an electrical signal or converting the pressure in a gas cylinder into a readable digital display, transducers are there, silently and efficiently doing their job. It's also important to note that while all sensors are transducers, not all transducers are sensors. A sensor is a specific type of transducer that responds to a physical stimulus like light, heat or pressure and converts it into a signal which can be read or recorded. So in essence, a transducer is a device that transforms one form of energy into another. Now, let's switch gears and talk about sensors. A sensor is a fascinating device that plays a pivotal role in many systems, from the smartphone in your pocket to the thermostat in your home. But what exactly is a sensor and how does it function? In essence, a sensor is a type of transducer, a device that transforms one form of energy into another. The energy it deals with is typically in the form of signals or stimuli. These can originate from a wide array of physical systems, such as temperature changes in your home or the touch of your finger on a smartphone screen. The sensor's job is to receive this signal or stimulus and generate a response. It does this by converting the received energy into a form that can be easily processed and understood by the system it's a part of. This could be an electrical signal, a digital readout, or even a mechanical movement. One key aspect of a sensor's role is its ability to represent and illustrate the complete data of the system it's part of. This is crucial in various types of systems, particularly those related to statistical, telemetric, or control aspects. For instance, in a weather monitoring system, sensors measure atmospheric conditions like temperature, pressure, and humidity, and convert these into data that can be analyzed and used to predict weather patterns. Now you might be wondering, 
Isn't that what a transducer does? Well, you're right. Remember, a sensor is a type of transducer. The main difference lies in the specifics of their roles. While a transducer is primarily concerned with the conversion of energy, a sensor adds an extra layer of complexity by not only converting energy, but also generating a response to a specific stimulus. So let's sum up. A sensor is a device that receives and responds to a signal or stimulus from a physical system. It's a specialized type of transducer that plays an integral role in many of the systems and devices we interact with on a daily basis. Now that we understand what both a sensor and a transducer are, let's compare and contrast. Essentially, all sensors are transducers. The key difference lies in the scope of their functionality. A sensor typically detects changes in physical phenomena and converts these changes into readable signals. A transducer, on the other hand, is a broader term that includes devices converting any form of energy into another. Let's break it down. A sensor is a specialized type of transducer that is tuned to respond to a specific stimulus such as light, heat or pressure. It's this specificity that sets sensors apart. For instance, a light sensor will react to changes in light intensity, converting these changes into electrical signals. Transducers, however, are not always sensors. A loudspeaker is a classic example of a transducer that isn't a sensor. It converts electrical signals into sound waves, but it doesn't detect or respond to external stimuli like a sensor would. So, in essence, while a sensor is always a transducer, a transducer isn't always a sensor. It's a square-rectangle relationship, if you will. A square is always a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't always a square. So while there are similarities, it's crucial to remember the differences between sensors and transducers. To wrap things up, let's summarize the main points. A transducer is a device that transforms one form of energy into another, like electrical energy into mechanical variation. On the other hand, a sensor, a type of transducer, receives a signal from a physical system, then generates and transmits a response, creating a return signal that represents the data of the entire arrangement. And there you have it, the key differences between a sensor and a transducer. Thanks for joining us on this journey of discovery.